Hello, welcome to our channel. Uh, my name is Dave. Uh, we call this Cockeyed Acred Homesteads. The reason we come up with the name of Cockeyed Acres Homestead is we don't do anything perfect here. We do things on a budget, we do what we can afford, and we make it work. We bought this property about two years ago. Um, it's a mountain property. It was overgrown in brush and briars. Uh, the previous owners didn't take care of the property. So we had to come in and really clear out the property to get it to where it is today. Uh, we should have took you along on the journeys from the get-go, but we decided to start today and see how things go. Uh, this channel is mostly gonna be about our journey of taking this property up into which we can get some nice pastures growing here and expand into different animals that we already don't have. We started out like most people with goats. We have uh, somewhat of a goat population here. We started breeding, we had uh, the boar goats mixed with some kiki, and then we branched off into uh, Nigerian dwarf. We have uh, quite a few Nigerian dwarfs now. Um, here's our goats that we have, some of them anyhow. Uh, that's Miss Coco Woolly Bear and her two little babies this year. She had a little boy and a little girl. And then over there is Tank, a little black one there. She came from Miss Stormy Daniels down here, this little gray one here. She's a wonderful little girl that we have. Over here is Miss Daisy. Daisy uh, was born here on this homestead along with Coco Woolly Bear. And that's her little baby laying in front of her. I have another little girl right here. Come here. Let's say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. There you go. One of the next things we added was chickens. Uh, it seems like the chickens just keep on growing and going and going and going. After that shortly, we added a couple guineas, which we weren't very happy with guineas. We still have two of them left, looking to get rid of them. After the guineas, though, we then branched off into turkeys. Uh, we got some meat turkeys at first, and just wasn't very happy with the meat turkeys, and we decided to go into the heritage breeds. Uh, there's our tom for the year, and we have a couple of hens there. Shortly after that, shortly after that, we did add ducks. Uh, we're happy with the ducks there. They do lay eggs pretty well. We collect eggs every day. One thing is though that the ducks, my wife doesn't really like the duck meat. So we quit kind of breeding them so much and we've kept them down to just these uh, five. This is our first year with geese. Uh, we decided to go with the Chinese geese. Uh, we have two females right now. We're looking to add a male. We do a lot of composting here where we try to compost everything down. Uh, a lot of the waste from the barn, waste from the house. We all pile it up there and then let the chickens do their magic. Uh, that's where the chickens get most of their feed from. Most of their protein is all from this pile that uh, we let them chew through there and break down all the, the different products. When we first got started here, we decided to go with, the, we got a couple commercial pigs. The commercial pigs, my wife didn't like them. They were just too big and aggressive. And so we decided to go with some of the more traditional heritage breed homesteading pigs. So we went out and we got a Cooney Cooney, American Guinea hog, and a Michon pig. And then we got a male, which is a Cooney Cooney. And we've been breeding pigs now for, this is our first litters here on the farm at the homestead here. Here are some of our little babies if you want to take a look at these. So this here is one of the American Guinea hogs, Cooney Cooney cross. Back there's a Cooney Cooney. Here's a mama pig. She's a little protective at times. Then we have, here's one of the little Cooney Coonies. Here's another little Cooney Cooney. 
and there's an American guinea called Kuni Kuni Cross. With us raising our own chickens, we also allow them to hatch their eggs whenever they want to. Uh, when the hens go broody, that's when uh, we let them hatch the eggs. Uh, when they hatch out, then we raise them up. Any of the males, we usually butcher off. We'll keep a couple of the females to add some new egg layers, but then we also butcher a lot of those too. So last week we had a nice little addition. Here's uh, the mama, and she's got four little chicks with her. She's doing great. And also then if you turn over here, here's our other sow. This is our Michon. She had nine piglets. Let's get a good look at the little nine boys here. She had uh, five girls and four boys. So these are Michon Kuni Kuni crosses. They will be raised out for meat also. Um, as you saw there, that was our sows. Uh, this here is our male. He is a nice little Kuni Kuni male. We've had him for about a year now. He's nice and friendly. These are the piglets that were born last year. Uh, we have three of them there. We're raising them out for meat. They're all for meat purposes. We started out with 25 acres here. Now the ground is kind of rocky. That's one thing that we have a lot of problems with. It's very uneven and rocky, but I mean, that's what we could afford. And that's what I want you to get across on this video is the fact is that sometimes you have to buy what you can afford and start out with what you can. Not necessarily that you need to have that pristine, perfect acreage with, uh, you know, nice topsoil everywhere and green grass everywhere. And you have to make it work for what you got. I mean, as you can see here, we have a lot of rocks, a lot of rocks, and a lot of rocks. We had the goats here. They cleaned up a lot of the brush and the briars and tried to clean back a lot of the, uh, the weeds and everything like that. Now we have the weeds. Now we're going to try to work on building the soil. Uh, we're going to be taking you along on this journey here where we do different things of putting down mulch and uh, picking rocks and stacking rocks and and building the soil up uh, the thing is is i just want to kind of get this channel up and going and let you guys know that you can do it too with just a little bit of input so right here as you can see this is our next project we are um looking at clearing out a more ground here uh, i've been cutting down a lot of the trees here and getting ready to prepare to plant an orchard i want to go ahead and uh, dig swales and put in different uh, trees we want to plant fruit trees and nut trees and do like a whole permaculture understory system with the berry bushes and we're going to experiment with a bunch of different type we want to look into more um traditional uh, native plants, things that are native to this area, Pennsylvania. I find that it's easier to grow things that are actually native to your area than trying to grow any exotic things that don't belong in your area that have been transplanted into the area. Uh, if you could, please like and subscribe to this channel and follow us along on this journey as we begin this new adventure. Thanks again for watching.